I'm looking at Jake Miller right now. What's up, Jake? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty awesome, man. We, dude, we are living, and we're all going to get through this. You know, we got to be smart, watch hands, stay, you know, in, in your house, social Definitely. distancing, the stuff you've heard all, you know, a thousand times. But I feel like, and I keep saying this, but to me, it just, I, maybe, maybe it helps me to talk about it. I feel like we're living in a sci-fi movie, you know? Yeah, definitely. It, it definitely feels a, a little strange, but I feel like everybody um, is being more creative now than ever. And it's really cool to see, you know, whether it's, you know, social media or TikTok or just random other stuff. But I think everybody is kind of taking this as a chance to, you know, take up a new hobby or get better at something or, you know, work out harder, eat better. I don't know. But that's at least how it feels over on my end in my house. So um, hopefully everybody else is kind of doing the same. I tell you what, I, I think uh, Zoom has blown up over the last couple of days because I, I keep hearing a lot about Zoom. And this is, uh, Jake, I think you are my second or third Zoom ever in my life. And this is your first time to do a Zoom interview? This is my first Zoom, yeah. <laughs> I see my I sister so doing it every day for her work, but yeah, this is, uh, this is my first one. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so uh, for people, once again, on the radio, you can't see this, but, you know, you can check the video. Where are you at right now? Where, give me, like, uh, what part of the world? I assume you're East Coast, New York right now? Yeah, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where I grew up. Oh. I'm at my parents' house. Uh, my sister flew down from New York. I flew here from L.A., and the four of us are just, uh, you know, just here doing our thing, pretty much eating the same thing every day, wearing the same thing every day. <laughs> um, but we're, we're, trying to, we're trying to make the most out of it, and... Uh, you know, just stay creative and, you know, spend quality time with each other, play a lot of games, stuff like that. Is the, is the quarantine, here's the routine I've come across. You wash your hands 4,000 times a day. You brush your hair once a week. Is that kind of, yeah. you know, how it, how it breaks I never brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I never brush my hair. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I've been showering. I've been showering the, the same amount as normal. Um, have you? Uh, yeah, I could lie to you. But no, <laughs> I smell pretty rancid right now. But I think, yeah, I, I was told that, you know, even as we're doing this stuff, you know, from home, the, I guess one of the keys is to get into your, stay in your normal routine as much as possible. But it, it's, it's, it's not easy, you know? I mean, my normal routine is just thrown completely out of whack, as I'm sure yours may be as well. Yeah, totally. I mean, LA is where, you know, I live and I create and I turn my room into a studio and Normally when I come to Florida and hang with my family, I don't, you know, I don't think about writing or, or making music while I'm here. I don't even bring my studio equipment to Florida normally when I come and visit my family because I just kind of have that time aside to hang with them. But this time I'm like, oh, I don't know how, how long I'm going to be in Florida. I took all my studio stuff. Um, and so now, you know, I have no excuse. And I, I got to keep it up. I got to keep writing and because I don't know how long I'm going to be here, to be honest. So I'm, I've been, been productive every day so far. We'll get to these tracks in a couple of seconds, you guys. He's working on some pretty wild stuff. Uh, by the way, I should have asked this at, at, the, at the jump here. How, how are your, how's your family? How's your friends? How are they all doing? Everybody's staying healthy um, for right now. Hopefully it stays that way. How about you? Uh, everything, we're, we're doing good, you know. I, uh, I'm a bit of a hypochondriac. I mean, I'm not off the deep end, I don't think, but uh, I want to stay informed of everything coronavirus related. But every time, and this goes for other things outside of the coronavirus but if somebody mentions a symptom on tv of hey there's a new let's just make up a crazy disease um blue hat disease you know and uh, they mention a symptom like if you have blue hat disease you'll start itching on your left ear all of a sudden my left ear starts itching and i just like ah oh, i just i almost don't want to hear although i need to and i do but i don't want to hear the symptoms because it just i'll start thinking i've got this and it's just it's i gotta keep it out of my head basically you know it, maybe yeah. i'm nuts or like going online and like Googling, trying to figure oh. out what kind of disease you have. Because then you're just gonna... <laughs> it's terrible, man. It's just, it's just awful. Hey, um, so if uh, you guys all, I mean, stocked up, I guess, in the house, did, did you buy, a, you know, probably the most important question. Jake, do you have 4,000 rolls of toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> um, we don't have 4,000 rolls, but we have enough. We, we definitely have enough. Um, we have a lot of hand sanitizer, a lot of Purell wipes, um, a lot of masks, which we don't really wear, but just in case it gets right. even worse. Um, yeah, and then stocked up on a bunch of healthy food. 
And uh, one more question. Um, what are you binge watching? What are you, what are you going crazy on? Because I assume you've discovered some new TV shows and you're, you're going nuts in that world. What, do you, what, do you, what can you recommend? We always just kind of binge watch The Office. Um, we also started uh, watching Dave, Lil Dicky's TV show. I think I'm on the episode <laughs> three coming up. How is that? Uh, is that? Is that funny? Yeah, it's funny. I mean, I think uh, you definitely, I have a, like, a big respect for it. And I can just, I think it's funny just because, you know, he's kind of giving you the insight of, of what it's like to be kind of like an underdog in the music industry. And so it's really cool. And also it's just like knowing Lil Dicky and how kind of goofy and intelligent he is and creative. Like, I just, I'd get it more, more but like, if you're not a little Dicky fan, then I'm not sure if you'll if you'll love the show. To be honest, gotcha. I met him once, and he was just or once or twice, and he was an interesting guy, a real nice guy. I, I I hope he has success with that show. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What else? You what else are you watching? Or is that pretty much? Uh, no, no, that's pretty much it. I really just watch The Office all the time. <laughs> hey Jake, before I get to the uh, the TikTok tracks you've done, the you know the all all that, you text me a song the other day that you did this is just before the coronavirus got super yeah. crazy you know um but you text me a track which was awesome and you said you Thank wanted you. alessia cara you're welcome uh, you were you're trying to reach out to alessia cara to get her to feature on it <clears throat> yeah it, uh did you ever talk with her she dm'd me back on twitter uh she gave me her email i sent her the song haven't heard back yet so you know it's a it's a crazy time i'm sure she's dealing with a lot but hopefully uh she'll get back to me soon I bet she, you know what, does she have a studio in her house or does she have access to, uh, easy assuming, access to one? Yeah. I'm assuming she's got some kind of mic set up at her house, but you know, there's a, there's a lot of music business politics that go into collabs, as you know, so we'll see. But, um, you know, as long as, as long as she's got the song and she can hear it, I think uh, that's pretty much all that I could do. That's, you know, that's, that's in my ballpark. So I'm happy that she heard it. Hopefully, hopefully she likes it. I bet she's in her, you know, room uh, or wherever. I bet she's putting some stuff that you're going to get an email at some point and there it yeah, is. Whole, I bet that happens. That's crazy, man. man. Well, good, good luck with that song is beautiful. Wait, wait till you guys hear this uh, track um, with or without Alessia, which I hope Alessia jumps on it, but it's just, it's, it's awesome. Um, hey, these, you. these tracks you're doing, uh, you're welcome for the, these, I guess we'll call, are we calling them TikTok tracks or quarantine tracks or I don't know how you refer to them. Okay. Explain these things, Jake, which I, I guess, and we'll go into the first one, but explain what you, what you got going on. So everybody's on TikTok, as you know. My sister has been trying to get me to TikTok for the last six months. Um, obviously, <laughs> the most popular right now that it's ever been. And so I decided, you know what, we got a lot of time on our hands. Let's, let's do something creative. So um, me and my family have really just been kind of making these funny little parody songs about how we're cooped up in the house, we're bored, we got nothing to do. Um, yeah, they're just they're just all funny games, and and ironically, they like are blowing up, and one of them has like got like five million views in a day, and you know, so now yeah. I'm now I'm a TikTok now I'm a TikTok addict, um, for the time being, I guess. Well, congrats on that. Um, uh, how the song? Um, how long will this last? Let's play that one first. It's about these are all like thirty seconds long. Get, how, yeah, this yeah. Is just all these are just hilarious, man. You know, and we need this about this time, so. Uh, yeah, so some, we basically a, a quick like, story. just like house, household, household like items and household noises, make a beat out of them, wrap a little funny, you know, song on top of it. And then we do a little video to it. it. The whole thing probably takes an hour and a half to do. So it's just a nice way to make music with the family. And uh, let's, let me, I'll, I'll play the track. Uh, how, how long will this, how long will this last? Is there anything I need to know about this track or do we just jump into it? Um, well, I mean, if you're listening to this on the radio, definitely go watch it on TikTok afterwards because half of the whole, you know, why it's so funny is, is the video. So the audio is great, but definitely you got to go watch the video too after this. Jake, let's do another one. Jake Miller, take a walk. What do I need to know about this track? So my mom takes like a million walks throughout the day, um, even when it's not quarantine time, just because she loves going on walks and being active. But now it's it's a lot. So she's asking everyone in the house if they want to take walks, and um, that's pretty much that's pretty much where this came about. Hey Jake, give me some details on uh, "I Need My Six Feet," which might be my favorite. So talk talk about "I Need My Six Feet." Yeah, this one's my favorite too. This one was uh, really about my grandma. Um, we basically, me and my family, are pretty much just squatted up, saying, "Don't even think about getting close to my grandma because she's old and can't afford to catch a cold." So give her her six feet. So that's uh, it's definitely my favorite one yet. 
I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you've got, you know, new music. Forget the, uh, you know, for a moment, forget the, uh, the quarantine tracks, the 30 second TikTok hits. We got new Jake Miller product soon. What? Tell me everything. What do we need to uh, know about this? Yeah, ever since I got off tour in uh, September, I guess of last year, um, I was in the studio in my room in a, you know, a million different studio sessions with different friends, and uh, we've made so many songs over the last six months that I'm so proud of and so happy um, that I, I, can't, I really can't wait to put them out there. Just for sure, my favorite music I've ever made, next level. Um, as, as the plan goes right now, the first single is coming out in May. We haven't shot a video. We haven't done a photo shoot yet, all because, you know, nobody wants to leave their house. Companies have shut down. So hopefully it will come out around May, but it might need to be pushed back a little bit. But moral of the story is we have some of my best music, um, almost like an album's worth of, of great music ready to drop. So, yeah. Well, you know, I'm a huge fan, man. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. And I can't, man, I can't wait for the music. I really think you are. I mean, you're inching closer and closer and closer to that that breaking point where it's it's. I mean, your fan base is crazy now. Don't get me wrong, but you're inching closer to that point where, I mean, it's like there's the fire, there's the gasoline, and it's just gonna at some I point, and it's it. gonna be. It's really it's coming, dude. I am, you know, I, I know really it. mean that. I appreciate it, and thank you. I, I know you've always been supporting me, and you've always thought that, so I really appreciate that. Well, Jake, appreciate your time. You and your fam stay safe and, uh, and uh, let's uh, keep in touch. I, and, and I can't wait to see you in, in person, obviously. Yes, when it's all done. Stay healthy. All right, you, got, you got it, man. That's Jake Miller, 102.7 KISS FM.